Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Costco haul. Um, this is about $330 worth of groceries and um, I just wanted to go pick up a few things today to get us through the rest of the month and into like January um, with the holidays around the corner and my kiddos having one more week of school left um, and everyone being home. I wanted to grab a couple treats and things like that. So let's jump into it. We got this Popcornopolis Zebra Popcorn. It has caramel corn with chocolate flavored stripes. It looks really delicious. We have a two-year-old and a five-year-old. And so every night in December, we do advent calendars. And then we try to do something like look at lights or watch a Christmas movie, read Christmas stories, have a special Christmas treat. Um, so I thought this would be really fun to have on hand for that. As well as some um, Skinny Pop in the Aged White Cheddar. This will be great for like a movie night. Um... We usually just get the plain, I think it's olive oil and sea salt one, but I'm excited to try the white cheddar. Um, we got some pretzel crisps. These are a great snack for my kiddos. Um, and around this time of year, we do a lot of like snack lunches or snack dinners where we make like a cheese plate, charcuterie board, that kind of thing. And so um, crackers or pretzel crisps usually work great for that. Some sweet kale salad. We love this salad. I'm going to make this tonight for dinner with these... Um, baby back pork ribs. I'll just throw these in the oven with some roasted potatoes and we'll do the salad. It'll be a really easy dinner. Um, some avocados. Both my kids love avocados. We'll also probably do tacos at some point in the next week. Red grapes. These English muffins. So almost every day for breakfast we have breakfast sandwiches with English muffin, egg whites, cheese, and like Canadian bacon or turkey bacon for a nice healthy breakfast and it's really satisfying. Um, I got these Duke's Original Recipe smoked teriyaki sticks or smoked sausages. These are delicious. We had um, my last Costco trip, I bought two of these bags and it's probably been about a month since I've been and we just finished the last bag today. So um, both my two-year-old and my five-year-old love these. My husband and I love these. They're a really great snack or a really great, you know, lunch to go with a cheese plate. Um, you can, they're shelf stable, so keep them in the pantry. Once you open a bag though, you need to put it in the refrigerator. So these are really good. Give them a try if you have never tried them. And again, I got four bags this time. I got some of this smoked pulled pork. Um, this is really delicious. My husband and I had, we did Whole30 like, I don't know, a year or so ago. And this is Whole30 compliant. It's really good. We ate a ton of it during that time and so kind of got burnt out on it. But um, I was craving it the other day, so I figured we'd give it another go. Um, just a really easy dinner. It's already cooked. You can eat it as is. You can add barbecue sauce. Um, you know, do all kinds of things with it. So <clears throat> you could make street tacos. Yeah, just lots of endless ideas. And it makes a couple of dinners because there's two pouches of the pulled pork in here. We got some graham crackers. We have a camping trailer, and so we take it out all throughout the year. Um, so we go through graham crackers often with, you know, s'mores and just, again, snacks for my little ones. Uh, some salami for charcuterie boards, and just my kiddos love salami to snack on. Some sliced Tillamook cheddar, uh, and then just a brick of Tillamook cheddar. We love the Tillamook cheddar. It's our favorite. And it's really convenient to have the sliced cheese occasionally, and then the brick, obviously, I, I get both usually when I, um, when I grocery shop and then I got another container of this organic taco seasoning, probably have about a quarter of a container left right now, but, um, I thought since I won't be there for, to, at Costco for a while, I'll just get one to have on hand. <clears throat> we grabbed a three pack of the Borzen cheese. This is delicious. They have garlic and fine herbs as well as shallot and chives really good for crackers and um, carrots and just kind of a nice treat to have. Got some paper plates for convenience when we want them. I got a hunk of smoked salmon for probably Christmas Eve. It'll just be my husband and I and then our, you know, two little ones. We usually host a big Christmas Eve gathering with our entire family, but this year because of the coronavirus, it's just going to be the four of us. So I'll probably just do like little appetizers for dinner. Um, and so I thought I would get some smoked salmon for that. Love smoked salmon. Uh, rotisserie chicken, we'll do dinner with that one night. 
eat some for lunch. Maybe I'll do like a enchilada or something out of leftovers. We usually can get a couple of different meals out of these rotisserie chickens. They're so good. They're so inexpensive. Um, a big thing of edamame, I figured these would be good just to have for snacks and, you know, throw on the side of a dinner or something. <clears throat> some smoked salmon dip. I had purchased some of this at Trader Joe's recently, a different brand and um, just a small container. And we ate it over Thanksgiving and I thought it was just so delicious. So I got some more for Christmas and New Year's. I think this lasts through, let's see. Yeah, through 1231. So it'll last us through New Year's Eve even. A big thing of cashews, um, a container of eggnog. That's usually one of the treats we'll have occasionally in December with our little ones. They really like eggnog. I got some crescent rolls. I wasn't sure if, I probably shouldn't have gotten this huge pack because we really don't eat crescent rolls that often, but I've seen a couple of recipes recently um, that I wanted to try this month. So I don't know, I grabbed them, I saw them. I'll probably freeze most of these. I got a big hunk of smoked Gouda. This is my new favorite like snack or lunch. <clears throat> smoked Gouda and red grapes. So, so good. Definitely any kind of smoked Gouda, just get some red grapes and even like those Duke's um, teriyaki, not teriyaki, what am I trying to say? Pepperoni sticks. Oh my gosh, so good. Gouda, red grapes, do it. I got a Caesar salad kit. I like having one of those on hand. Some chicken meatballs for a couple of meals. Our kiddos love meatballs. Skippy crunchy peanut butter. We eat peanut butter and the kids eat peanut butter all the time. Um, butter for some baking I want to do this month with Christmas cookies. Egg whites for our breakfast sandwiches. Two things of 2% milk. Another big thing of um, Swiss Miss milk chocolate. We bought one of these probably a year ago now and we only have a few packets left. So I thought I would just stock up again for, again, getting us through this winter. And then like when we go camping and stuff, we usually keep several of these packets in our trailer. I got some disinfecting wipes. I haven't purchased these in, I mean, since March. Um, I know that my Costco has come back in stock with these a couple of times, but they always sell out like the same day. Um, so I was really pleased to see this and grabbed a box. And then... Um, this Boboli pizza. So it's a party pack and it has eight mini pizza crusts and sauce. I figure um, we could make pizza one or two nights for dinner and um, put them on the trigger. And my kiddos love like pepperoni pizza and my husband and I will just do like veggies or something on here. So I figured that would be a fun dinner to do with the kiddos this December. So that's what I got at Costco. Let me know if there's anything you recently picked up that I need to try at Costco. I was hoping to get, <clears throat> they have this light garland usually every year that we have above our fireplace. And ours just went out the other night and it looks like it's completely burnt out. <coughs> Excuse me, so I was hoping to get a new one, but they were already sold out of them for the season. So I was a little bit bummed. But if you're new to my channel, subscribe, stick around, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.